In the third chapter of Mark's Gospel, Jesus appoints the twelve and sends them out to proclaim the good news, the message that the kingdom of God is at hand. To be an apostle means to be sent out. When I began my ministry, I was sent here to Littlestown. And when I was elected bishop, I told a story from Littlestown. It was about the McDonald's. It was really a center of the community and the town. And at one point, the store closed and they put up a ribbon around it and they bulldozed it down. And then in its place, they put up a new McDonald's, the one that's right behind me now. And they did that because they recognized that the business was changing and they needed to meet the needs of the community. And I asked the question, when was the last time we bulldozed a church to really begin to start over, maybe not our buildings, but at least our sense of how it is we are out as the church in the community. It is time as the church is changing for us to change to meet the community's needs. We're standing here in front of the doors of Union Lutheran Church here in York, Pennsylvania. This church was founded in 1859 and like so many of our churches was built on the growth of immigrants coming to this country, both in the 18th and 19th century. Our churches grew because boats pulled up filled with German Lutherans. After that, a generation or two, our churches grew because these families had large families and the children grew up in these neighborhoods, stayed in these neighborhoods and came to these churches. But over the years, the things have changed for us. There are no more boats pulling up to our shores with Lutherans on them. And our families are getting smaller and our children, much to our reluctance, are moving away. And so we, to grow our church, will need to change. We'll need to reform. Phyllis Tickle, a, an expert in the emergent church movement, said that every 500 years, the church goes through a major change, a major reformation. The last one was the reformation with Martin Luther when he put the 95 theses on church doors like these. But now we are called, and perhaps you thought I would take you inside, but the reality for us is that the church needs to be outside. Christ called us to be sent, to be sent out into the communities, to listen, to listen to what God is saying to us, to listen to what our neighbors are saying to us, and to listen to what we as a Lutheran church are saying among ourselves as we grow the church in this place. This is a new and exciting time to be the church, to be out in the communities, whether it's here in the cities in our urban environments, our suburban settings, or even in our most rural settings. It is time for us to think about how we can reform and renew the church. Early in the morning, the women came to the graveyard. They were going to anoint the body, but he was not there. Jesus had arisen. They met a young man who told them that Jesus had gone ahead of them to Galilee and that they should tell the others. We as Lutherans are people of the cross. Luther called us theologians of the cross. We recognize that the joy of the Easter story has no meaning without a false arrest, the suffering of the cross, and the tomb. Jesus died. And we as Lutherans call things for the way they are. We as a church are in a time of change, and change often feels like death to us as things that are important to us change and disappear. And yet, it is from those things that we will experience new life. And this is our opportunity then to be the church in this place, in this time. But it is also a time for new hope and for resurrection. 
a time that we have an opportunity for the church to grow and to change in new and exciting ways. We are a people of hope and a people of resurrection. And for me, I feel like the future is so bright that I'm convinced that we will all have to wear our shades. <laughs>